Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Jesse with Links Up. Uh, I will be presenting today. I um, work with Real Green and Real Green customers to help see how we can, um, you know, make your business a little bit more efficient and help with fleet manage fleet and asset management. And I'll let John introduce himself as well. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm with Links Up as well. I'm responsible for partnerships, uh, and certainly including the one with Real Green. And looking forward to chatting with you today. So getting started here, as you can see, um, you know, we are with Links Up. We do um, vehicle and asset tracking, the, your valuable assets, such as your mowers, your sprayers, anything like that, the trailers. And we'll get into kind of how we can help with, with each of those individual items also. We are not a, uh, we're a company that pretty much just, you know, all we do is focus on GPS and tracking. So we're not a cell phone company, we're not an electronics company, we're not something that is trying to just add an auxiliary product onto our, our resume of, of many things. And I think that that's reflected in our MPS scores. We make the best, most affordable and easiest to use GPS software on the market. So GPS solves for a variety of issues um, in any business, but specifically uh, in, in the green care industry. This helps to know where your assets are, vehicles, as well as equipment, monitoring driver behavior with driver scorecards, validating time cards with geofences, reducing fuel costs with idling times and having route replays, avoiding surprise breakdowns by tracking maintenance, protecting against theft with um, one, knowing where the, lo the location is and having a faster recovery time, but also having unauthorized use alerts record event-driven videos with our dash cam product, optimizing dispatching, preventing unauthorized use, and min minimizing overall liability. Solving those problems helps save money, obviously. So this can help with, um, check with your individual insurance company. It can help lower your insurance cost by proving that you are vested in a safe fleet and having a safe uh, drivers and equipment out on the road. Also, being able to prevent that unauthorized use, being able to know if there's personal use happening, side jobs or theft. It has been found that, you know, a faster recovery time, you know, faster, uh, less downtime, but also getting those employees back out there. And then being able to reduce your fuel costs by looking at driver behaviors, inefficient routes that were taken previously, idle times, harsh braking, rapid acceleration, speeding, all things that add up and can really impact the fuel costs that you're paying. Here's just a couple companies that we work with that um, might resonate for you. Just to show, you know, we have been in business since 2004. We have about 45,000 customers in the market, uh, tracking about 200,000 pieces of equipment or vehicles. We work with Virginia Green, so we kind of wanted to, to make it applicable for you guys to say, okay, so who are some Real Green customers that we're currently working with and what are they saying about our products together? Um, I did, I spoke with John Taylor, who's the facilities manager at Virginia Green, and he said that just the other day they were having a meeting and discussing how, hands down, it's just the easiest to use tool all around. Um, being able to create and change geofences and using all the different features is very helpful. And then he did say, you know, that it pretty much blows away the, their previous provider that they were using, um, that they, they saw an immediate um, change in the software and, and an immediate benefits to being able to just have that ease of use. So one of the things that make us easy is not just our portal, but also how you do business with us. We are pretty flexible. We have plugins that are just kind of as easy as plugging into a light switch or a light socket. Uh, you can have wired in option depending on, on what your needs are and what works best for you. You're able to access the portal through a web-based system that you can log into, but there's, we also have free mobile app. And then as far as contracts and fees or additional costs, you know, we really don't have uh, add-on costs for reporting or ex extra users or additional vehicles. Um, in the portal, you know, anything like that, that it's just a, a flat per vehicle monthly rate that goes out there. And then the contract options are, you know, we do have options without a contract at all, uh, which is nice because not everybody uh, 
wants to enter into that contract, but not only that, but we have the option for it. And then we also don't auto renew contracts, which is different than some of our competitors that we've heard. So we're not trying to trap anybody into contracts and then add on a bunch of fees. It's pretty clear and transparent right from the get go. The features that we include are robust for a fleet management solution, including the, that geofencing that I spoke of earlier, driving behaviors, safety scorecards, routes, idle times, unauthorized use, maintenance, being able to track preventative maintenance, get alerts when maintenance is due, diagnostic codes. So if there is something that happens, you would get a check engine alert light. You'll get those DTC codes pushed right over to you that you can go out. Um, there's a link to Google. It'll show before that you've even seen that vehicle again, what's going on with the vehicle so that you can be prepared to have that faster turnaround time. Any alerts that you can imagine, um, first ignition of the day, harsh braking, rapid acceleration, speeding, um, idle times, if they've entered and exited geo fences, which is a, a huge item as far as we do have a bulk upload in our customer dashboard. You can upload all your customers in there and then you can actually sort that by customer, how many times it's been visited in the past month, week, you know, quarter, and then um, show exactly how much time was spent in that geofence. So for billing purposes, it makes it much easier to get a clean, clear, accurate number um, to be able to relay that onto your customers. Here's that geofencing feature that I was just speaking about um, and also that Virginia Green had mentioned was a huge benefit for them. So you would just block out an area here and then you will get notifications when um, a vehicle has entered or exited it. But then the, in our report section, you're able to run based on one specific geofence, who all has been there and the amount of time that they've spent there. You can see here time in the geofence. This is just our personal um, uh, demo site. So this is you know mostly overnight for our sales management uh, team that they're at their house. So that's why you see some really long time and fence there, but it's also nice that you can then take that, export it into an Excel sheet, and then sort through that and calculate, you know, overall time spent on a job per the geofence, per the tracker, um, any, any way you need to slice and dice that information. Here's a just quick snapshot of some of the other reporting and a dashboard that you can drill into all of these separately and some of the reports that you can drill into, looking at miles, the safety scorecards, stop times, um, and that is different than the geofence times, idle times, and then also we have an asset tracker, or we have various asset trackers actually, that if you were using those, it would actually give you usage time. So we've heard, especially from um, landscape companies that you know being able to actually track with not manually, how often you know different pieces of equipment or mowers are being used, making sure that they're all used equally, knowing that for, for the preventative maintenance, you can set up maintenance alerts through here that will say, okay, after so many hours of use, we need to go ahead and, and uh, complete this piece of maintenance. And then we also have a, um, that would fall into that usage category, a specific mower tracker that I'll get into as well for asset trackers. As I mentioned, you know, vehicles aren't the only thing we track. We have those options, but just like our multiple different types of devices that you can put on a vehicle, we also have multiple different types of devices that you could put on any piece of equipment that you want to track. We have a solar asset tracker, we have a wired in asset tracker, and we also have a battery, a long term um, battery powered asset tracker uh, that pings, you know, just a couple times a day. And then that, that battery will last up to three years and it's very easy to replace the battery on that. So really, if you're just trying to, I just need to know where it is, that's completely, um, we're able to meet all those needs with that battery one. Or if you were wanting to look at something that has a, more of a ping rate, like a mower tracker, we can meet that with our wired devices. I mentioned earlier the dash cams as this adds another layer of fleet management. This is an additional safety feature that you can add on to the GPS. It adds a little bit more color around some of those alerts. For example, if there was a harsh braking alert, you'd be able to go in and see, one, was the driver distracted? Were they on their phone? Were they eating their lunch? Were they, um, you know, who knows, who knows what people do when they're driving? Um, or two, was it something that they were cut off that it, you know, it, it helps to almost exonerate that driver to say, no, they were actually paying attention. And because they were paying attention and they were practicing safe uh, fleet management that, that they were able to avoid a collision. So yes, there was an alert there, but 
we're able to get a little bit more information around it to be able to see the, the true um, circumstances of that. We have live view with this that you're able to go in from, from an admin, from a, from a desktop portal and go in and look at, see what's happening in real time in that vehicle or outside. Uh, we are able to de detect collision, glass break, movement, anything like that. So that is actually when the ignition is off, the camera goes into a dormant um, safeguard mode. And then if it detects any of those alerts, it, it will power back on. There's two bright LED lights right here that will that will come on. So even at night, you get a really crisp, clear HD quality picture of whoever that may be in the vehicle in case you need to send that to authorities. Um, all of this information is automatically instantly uploaded to the cloud. So even if they come in, they break in, the, the cameras turn on and start rolling, they rip out the camera, all of that information has been sent to the cloud already. That 24 seven protection around your fleet, that's that's where it is that it, it goes into that guard mode. And then um, it's a really easy installation. It just plugs right in to get power. And then you'll just tuck the cord and mount it right there with a suction cup. So there's nothing permanent. You're not drilling anything into a dash. There's no adhesives that won't leave any marks afterwards. We are able to integrate with fuel cards. Uh, we have a third party that we, we recommend working with and able to show information to help prevent you know, any type of fuel theft, being able to authorize, um, you know, that the card is being used at the same location that the vehicle is in, and really just help any, you know, fraud or anything like that, and then also re create reporting for any compliance needs. And then here's that mower tracker that I talked about. Um, so this is a, a great option for an asset tracker and tracking that equipment. So we can track, you know, the, as I mentioned, the trailers or any piece of equipment, but this is specifically for um, lawn and landscape companies that it has a faster ping rate of about 12 seconds. So you're actually able to use this, this tracker and wire it in um, to, to the mower and then show the path that it took over um, a, a course of a lawn, show the, the direction that it went. So if it's more about lawn health, as far as this time we went, you know, one way and the next time we go the other way, show proof of service, um, where you were, when you were there, exactly what areas of the lawn were serviced. And then um, when it's not in use or in an off season, you can actually change that ping rate to then reflect more of a, you know, I just need to know that the equipment is still where I think it is. And that's really it. So if you want more information, we do have a landing page set up there um, that you can go to at uh, realgreen.com slash links up. And then here's my contact information as well to my email number, shoot me in any questions you might have, or if you're interested in seeing some more information on anything that we talked about today. And that is really it. Thank you, Jesse. Um, I will end the recording now. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.